G give us your best sense. Is this gone until after the election, or is there really a chance something could get done? Well, look, uh, the, the chaos and disarray of Republicans in Washington uh, has cost our country dearly right now. Trump, McConnell, and Mnuchin can't get on the same page for, for COVID relief-19. Uh, uh, Mitch McConnell says no more than $500 billion. Uh, Mnuchin says $1.8 uh, trillion, and the president says that's uh, too big. Then he says it's too small. Uh, it, it's a chaos. It's going to be difficult to get something done. And each day that passes is a loss to our country. Jobs lost, wages lost, health care lost, housing lost, and lives lost. Look, cases are up 18 percent uh, to their highest level since uh, July 31st, and at least 17 states are experiencing their highest increases in the pandemic. They have to get their act together so that we can get this thing done and help the American people. Give us a sense of your workers. As I say, you've got more than 12 and a half million of them that you represent. Uh, how is it affecting them as a practical matter? Well, first of all, those, there's two groups. Those that are working are still experiencing difficulty uh, in getting PPE because the OSHA or the Department of Labor, is the Department OSHA, will not issue a pandemic standard to protect them, and they've not been on the job to protect them. Those that are laid off are running out of unemployment. They're losing their health care. They're in chance of losing their homes, uh, and this aid is directly uh, Im it's imperative that they get it soon. And as I said, each day that goes by is more loss uh, to the economy and to the American people. We had dueling town hall meetings last night. I'm sure you watched at least part of them. Uh, I don't recall the stimulus issue really coming up in, in, in the, either one of the town meetings. What did you make of last night? Well, first of all, the pan pandemic came up a lot. Yes. And you saw President Trump again denying, spreading misinformation. And you had Joe Biden talking about a plan to get it done. Look, we can't fix the economy until we fix the pandemic. You can't do that until you make workers whole and make workers safe. Thousands and thousands are still being affected in different industry uh, across this country. It has to be done. I think last night you saw the difference between somebody who denies it exists or minimizes its existence and somebody who says this is serious, all of us have to address it together. One of the things you really can't minimize though, is the wildfires have been raging out in California. And you pointed out, actually, that the White House now has denied a request from Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, for some emergency aid. What is going on there? Because as I understand, the White House didn't even give a reason. They, they didn't. Look, yeah, 8,500 wildfires. Four million acres were burned. 9,200 structures were destroyed. 31 deaths. And Trump refuses a disaster declaration because the good people of California voted for someone else. David, that's just flat wrong. That's not American. The real disaster here is Donald Trump's playing politics with the lives of all people in California, Democrat, Republican, Independent. That's a disaster. He has to get away from this. We need a leader who will represent all Americans. And that's, quite frankly, why we represent and support Joe Biden. Richard, staying in California for a moment, there's been a raging issue about law and regulation when it comes to so-called gig workers, people like the drivers for Uber or for Lyft. Uh, what is the AFL-CIO position on what should be done or not done with respect to regulation? Well, first of all, the Uber, Lyft, Instacart, and DoorDash uh, wrote Proposition 22. Uh, to create a special exemption for themselves from California law that requires app-based companies to provide basic protection uh, to their workers. Prop 22 only applies to Uber and the app companies, and it's designed to maximize their profit at the expense of taxpayers and their drivers. The measure creates a competitive advantage for giant corporations that hurt workers and small family-owned businesses. We oppose it because it's bad for the economy and it's very, very bad for workers. Well, what should be done with the Ubers and the Lyfts, the, the app-driven uh, uh, jobs? Because it is creating jobs for people, right? Exactly. Uh, but you want them to be good jobs, and you want them, to, the workers on those jobs to have protection. The Supreme Court's ruled on this. Uh, and what Proposition 22 is, it's Uber and Lyft and Instacart and DoorDash's uh, uh, attempt to overrule what the Supreme Court said and take those protections away from those drivers. 
things like the right to minimum wage, the right to paid sick leave, the right to safety protections on the job. They pretend, even though they control these drivers, that they're not their employees. The Supreme Court said they are. Proposition 22 would overrule the Supreme Court and say, these aren't drivers. We don't have to pay unemployment insurance. We don't have to pay a workers' comp for these people because they just aren't our employees. And that's a fiction. This would fix it. Uh, the law as it is would fix it. Uh, and it would make sure that they pay their fair share and those workers get the protections that every other worker deserves. Give all of us a little bit of guidance here as we watch this election as it comes down to the very closing stages. What are you looking at in terms of what will determine how the outcome comes? I, I think it's uh, who gets out to vote right now. Uh, we're finding out that there's very few undecideds right now. Most people have made a decision. This is a, a referendum uh, on Donald Trump. Do you want him as a president and the type of presidency that he's presented? Uh, do the things like he did, deny wildfire federal aid in mm -hmm. California because you voted against him or not. Mm -hmm. uh, and so getting out the vote, we're seeing tremendous surge mm -hmm. of early voting and mail voting uh, in the United States. I think you're going to see mm -hmm. an attempt by him uh, right. to have those votes not counted and to mm -hmm. discount them or to discredit the right. entire system, even those that were brought about uh, by Republican-run uh, yep. elections. And yep. so our job is to get the vote out.